This is a little box of socks by Charlene Church and Beth Parrott. I love this little box of socks. What is inside is a couple of dozen of cards that you can take out of the box and slip into your knitting bag. And each card is lightly laminated so it's sturdy and it's just a bifold. There's just the front, two in the center, and the back. One of the reasons I love this little box of socks is it makes the point that they don't have to be complicated to be a whole lot of fun. And you can store all of your patterns in the box when you're not using them. Now, I separated out a few of my favorites. I love the collection of what I would call textured socks. And see, look, I, you know, I've done this one. I love this one. But that's all you have is the instructions here. A little bit of a back pattern. That's it. Not complicated. All on these wonderful cards. Basket weave, great for guys. Shadow rib. This one, bulky boot socks. Quick. I think it uses worsted weight yarn. Wonderful. But it gets even better if you're like me and you're completely addicted to using hand painted yarns. Look at these patterns. This is the basket check socks and the reason I like it is because the pattern breaks up my hand dies. I don't end up, here's a chevron, I don't end up with just stripes of color. Here's a chevron, small wing sock where there's kind of a cable that breaks it up. This one, slip stitch cable sock done these. Love this pattern. Completely breaks up the hand dye. Faceted rib socks. Another one I've made. Love this one because it's little tiny changes in the stitches that make subtle rearrangements of the color. This one I haven't done yet but I want to. It's one solid color and then a hand dyed is the second color. This one is fascinating. Again, I haven't made them, but I want to. They're the Scandinavian pattern socks. And what you do is you have two hand dyes, one lighter and one darker, and then do the two color work. So, for those of us sock knitting crazy people, the little box of socks.